The Thwaites Glacier is one of the biggest glaciers in Antarctica. It flows into Pine Island Bay, which is part of the Amundsen Sea in Western Antarctica. Thwaites is also called Doomsday Glacier and has been noted for its potential to raise sea levels. Until recently, it was stable. But now scientists have discovered that a weakness has developed at the front of the glacier. They say that the ice shelf on the front of the glacier could shatter like a car's windscreen within the next decade because of startling increases in surface fractures and rifts. Researchers have observed that over the last decade, Thwaites has undergone more dramatic changes than any other glacier in Antarctica due to climate change and increased warming in the Earth's atmosphere and oceans. Thwaites Glacier is massive. It is approximately the size of Great Britain or Florida. The ice shelf itself is over one kilometer thick. The glacier's outflow speed has doubled in the past 30 years. Researchers from the UK and the US found out that the final point where the glacier rests on the bedrock, called the grounding line, is retreating as warmer ocean water melts from below. Thwaites has already lost around a thousand billion tons of ice since 2000. Now the glacier has been dumping more than 50 billion tons of ice into the ocean every year. It contributes about 4% of the annual global sea level rise. Scientists predict that the eastern ice shelf can break off into hundreds of icebergs. The total collapse of the Thwaites Glacier would result in the rise of sea level worldwide by more than 2 feet. If it were to collapse, it could trigger a regional chain reaction and drag other nearby glaciers in with it. And that could lead to even more sea level rise, up to 10 feet. Experts at the International Thwaites Glacier Collaboration say, reducing emissions of greenhouse gases may delay or prevent the collapse of glaciers in the polar region.